Hi, welcome back to Indoor Farm. And on this video, we're going to talk about the hydroponics AB nutrients. Now, one of the most common questions people ask is how much and how often do I need to put the nutrient in the system? And why is it bottled in A and B? Uh, just let me go through some of it. Now, the first question is why is it in A and B bottled? Mm -hmm. Now, they are all in a high concentration form. So, if they are mixed together right now, you're going to have a residue, uh, some chemical reaction and if they are residue, they are not dissolved in the water your plant will not be able to absorb the nutrient so this is why it's bottled in A and B separately so how do we put it in the system without them touching together in a concentrated uh, chemical solution now uh, we put A into the system you stir it well then you put B and stir it well so a system like this for, uh, will be easier because we've got a large reservoir at the bottom. We just put A, we stir it well, put a B, and that's it, right? But for the 40, 48 system, uh, the reservoir is made in a way that you're not able to access it. So we put the A on this tray and maybe we put the B on another tray. So the system will run and it will cycle and it will mix them well together. Uh, for me myself, I think it's, uh, it's troublesome when, especially when you have the vegetable pretty big. You, if you're gonna move around, you're gonna break the vegetables. So what I do is that I will leave one empty slot, not to grow anything, for me to fill up water, and also to put A there, and then I let it run for five, ten minutes, and I put B inside there. Or uh, what I like to do is. I will only check the EC level whenever I need to fill up water. So when I need to fill up water, I check the EC, I have a calculation in my mind, I know how much to put it in. I put the solution A into the content, uh, into the tray. I then put in all the water and I, I let the water dilute it and wash it and then I put the B almost immediately into the uh, machine, into the system. And so far so good, nothing happened and uh, I prefer to do it that way so that I save some time rather than sitting around waiting for him to cycle the nutrient. So uh, how do we estimate and how do we calculate how much nutrient to put into the system? So when you buy your nutrient, uh, there should be some instructions. All right. uh, our instruction says add 5 mLa and 5 mLb to 1 liter of water to achieve EC reading of 1,000 to 1,500. So uh, in another way, 5 ml each, okay? Let's just say 5 ml. Whenever I say 5 ml, it's always one to one ratio. No matter how, you put 10 ml A, you have to put 10 ml B, all right? It's always the same amount. So let's just say 5 ml, okay? 5 ml to one liter to achieve 1,000 to 1,500 EC. That also says uh, it's made to 200 times concentration, right? Because 5 ml times 200, you get 1,000 ml, which is one liter to achieve 1,000 to 1,500 EC. Now, why do, I, why do we not have a specific one number, like 1,000 EC, and it stays right there? Now, it's impossible to get the accurate numbers. Uh, the number of, the, the EC level will fluctuate with uh, many factors. Uh, one of the factors will be temperature. So if it's cold and hot, uh, the EC reading will be different, even with the same amount of nutrient put it in. And some people uh, put tap water in, like me, <laughs> I do tap water. Uh, so tap water already have some EC in it as well. Uh, tap water have around, for my area, I get around 170 to 200 at times. Uh, so. So everyone will get a different number. If you are using filtered, filtered water or you're using rain water with zero EC, then of course you will get something lower end like 1000 or 1200. Uh, if you're using the tap water, you will get something like 1003, 1004, even 1005. So this is why uh, it's giving you a range of 1000 to 1500 EC reading. Now, uh, so how often do you need to put the nutrient in the system? Is, uh, of course, you need to have an EC pen. I got a, an, another video that teaches you how to use the EC pen and how to make sure that it's not in the PPM because PPM and EC has a different value as well. 
if we are looking at the wrong thing, then yeah, the, the amount of neutron will be very different in the system. So we, we put it in, we check, and then we, we calculate the amount uh, to estimate how much to put it in. Now, uh, if you put in too little, you can always put in more. But if you put in too more, then you have to put in more water to dilute it as well. Now, uh, for the calculation of uh, how much to put it in, I will bring this camera nearer to this piece of paper right there. And I'm going to write some numbers down. And so you can understand how to estimate how much neutron to put it into the system to get your desired range of EC. All right. Okay, so it's fairly easy to calculate and estimate how much uh, neutron to put it in. So let's have a look on our instruction, the directions for use on our bottle. It says at 5 ml and A and 5 ml of B to 1 litre, which is uh, times 200 times, because uh, 5 ml times uh, 200 times would get you 1000 ml, which is also one liter of water now with this uh, 200 times concentration you will get between 1.0 to 1.5 um, mini semen per centimeter which is also 1000 to 1500 um, micro semen per centimeter uh, the, the conversion rate the conversion rate will be 1000 times okay 1,000 times. Now, uh, let's say you have uh, a 10 liter reservoir, and you are you want to achieve maybe like six, let's say 700 EC for a ceiling for a small plants to start out with. So to get to a very close estimation, we get 10,000. Uh, 10 liter we convert to 10 to millimeter, so we got 10,000. All right divided by 200 times concentration of the bottle so you get uh, 50 yeah, 10,000 divided by 200 will be 50 so if you put 50 ml of A and 50 ml of uh, B solution you should get somewhere between 1,000 to 1,500 EC. Okay, so now I know that I'm using tap water and uh, I always get the higher side of 1,400 uh, 1, EC, somewhere there. So if I want to get 700, I will divide by 2 again. So if I divide by 2, I have to divide this amount of nutrient to put in, in t by 2 as well. So I will put 25 ml of uh, A and B and I will then use my, of course, use my EC meter and dip it in and have a look if my EC level are somewhere 700 EC. So it's really easy to calculate and estimate the amount that you need to put. Well, and so this is how you estimate and calculate how much nutrient to put inside your system to achieve a certain range of uh, EC. Now, uh, another question is people ask, uh, so how often do I need to check, right? Uh, for commercial farmer, they they have computerized. They have uh, the the computer. The computer will know once the EC drops, and then the computer will feed in more nutrient. So throughout the journey, everything there will be very stabilized. Now, um, do you need to do that? The question is. Now, for me, I don't. I don't <laughs> honestly. Um, at first, I do, but I I think it's quite stressful that you check every day and then you have to pour in more nutrient every day uh, and so after a while I start to uh, experimenting different ways to do it I have many times put a nutrient into the system at 1000, 1200 uh, even and, and I throw the seed in and just germinate with the amount of EC nothing happened you will see people uh, on the net saying that uh, you should have the nutrient, you should uh, do this, do that. I think, uh, I personally, I don't know, may maybe it does hurt some of the seeding or maybe they have mishandled the way how you germinate the plant as well. There are, there are many factors, you see. So for me, I tried many times, I just do it that way. No problems. I, if I put 1002 and germinate the plant, I can tell you I don't even check the EC for two weeks. 
two weeks later, when it drops to six, seven hundred, then I chop it up to thousand two, or sometimes even overshot thousand four, thousand five. I just leave it there, and the plants just grows normally and well. <laughs> uh, of, of course, I'm not talking at a commercial point of view because I don't sell the plant, so I, I mean, I don't sell the vegetable, so I don't need to be. Uh, I'm not gonna fight for the speed. So for commercial, of course, they want speed, they want uh, the volume, everything going to be fast uh, so that they can uh, make money from selling vegetables. Uh, for hobbies, for growing it yourself, I think, depending on yourself, if you are looking at the, something fast, big, the best, we, we can always try different things and make things uh, work accordingly. Now, uh, so how much nutrient to put right, uh, in the system? It's easier for you to Google it because different plants need a different level of nutrients uh, and also the different stages as well. So let's say lettuce on the, on the internet, you will find 600 to 1200 EC. So how much to put? So, so some people comes up with uh, first week 600, second week you're up to 800, fourth week you're up to, uh, third week you're up to 1000 and fourth week up to 1002. You, you can say that, you can do that way. I, I try that way as well, as I also mentioned much earlier. Uh, many times I even start off with 1,000, 1,200, all the way through. Uh, sometimes at 1,005, if I overdose it, <laughs> the, the vegetable will grow fine. Yep. Uh, I hope this video will help you. and Don't stress out on how much to put. <laughs> Just enjoy the process, and I'm sure you're going to have a good harvest at the end of the month as well. Well, I hope this video helps you and uh, see you again next time. Thank you.